Hey guys, bada bing here, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the white laser etched trademarks from your airsoft guns and replace them with a more realistic factory engraving. Lots of trademarked airsoft guns comes with standard white laser etchings rather than deep engravings that match the colour of the surface. I don't know about you, but comparing the airsoft gun with its bold white letters to its real counterpart really lets it down and kind of upsets me. Today I'm going to be applying it to a KWA HK Mark 23 slide. This process will also enhance the finish from a hideously glossy black to a lovely gunmetal steel like sheen. Now I've dabbled in this on the previous video to which I applied the polish to my plastic Tokimuri HK45 slide and this gives outstanding results as you can see. So this will work on both plastic and metal surfaces. I'm going to be using Black Grate Polish by Hotspot. This polish is designed for barbecues, log fire stoves and other things of that nature. It's a water based polish that covers minor scratches and rust. It also contains graphite and the polish bonds with the surface to improve the appearance. Many companies produce the polish such as Stovax so you shouldn't have difficulty finding them. You can probably find it on Amazon or eBay, just type in Black Grate Polish and you'll likely to find it. Now, with the slide stripped of all the internal parts and fully degreased, you can now apply the polish. It's not scientific. Apply a thin coat and massage it in to the surface with a paper towel or cloth, making sure you ride over those white trademarks getting into the grain of the lettering. What you can do is leave it to set for 10 minutes and with a clean cloth, polish off the product. For the slide serrations, it also helps to use an old toothbrush just to get the residue out of the hard to reach areas. This will transform the look of the slide and leave flecks of graphite within the finish which just sets it off, especially on the slide serrations. And of course, your trademarks will now match the freshly applied finish. Mmm, that's so much better. What you can also do to help bond the polish into the metal is apply heat. Here I use a turbo flame lighter to gently burn in the polish. This will help seal in that hue and give the finish a longer life. If you try this for yourself, please be careful. The tube has a flammable warning label on it for a reason. You have been warned. Once you've lightly charred the polish onto the metal, leave it to cool before slowly massaging off the residue. The white lettering should now be a thing of the past and the results speak for themselves. To watch my older video on this subject, check out the link in the description. If you found this helpful, why not hit the like and if you haven't already, subscribe so you can keep up to date with my latest videos. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment downstairs or hit me up with a message on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash pictures. And until next time, take care and I'll catch you in a bit. Welcome to the party, pal.